New this morning, Fairfax County Police are looking for the person who stole a car and crashed into a transformer and a home in Lorton. That crash on Whitehaven Court igniting a fire at that house. Joseph Olmo joins us live from the scene. He's been talking to people still stunned by what happened. That's quite the scene, Joseph. Hey, Annika, I think that stunned is the best way to put it. I mean, nobody expects to wake up and see this outside of their house, but this is what happened in Lorton, Virginia this morning and what residents described to us throughout the entire morning as a very, very calm, cool, and collected community normally. But it certainly was not like that at around 5 o'clock this morning. The house was fully engulfed, cars fully engulfed. While crews worked to survey the damage outside this home in Lorton, Virginia today, a tight-knit neighborhood asking one question. How, how did this even happen? It's not like he was being chased by the police. Like, how did he just happen to just run straight into the house? George Davidson and his wife have only called this house home for a month. They even just got the furniture delivered. And then? You can see like a bright light flashing into the house. So when I went downstairs and looked out the window, I can just see the car sitting right there in right there in front of the house and then I can see like a little bit of flames at the bottom. Fairfax County Police say it all started just before 5 a.m. They got calls from neighbors that somebody was trying to get into cars. When they got to the Lorton Valley neighborhood, they saw the suspect already inside of a black BMW SUV. They told him to get out. Instead, he sped down the road and crashed into an electrical transformer outside this house. Moments later, the car and the home up in flames. Well, as you can see behind me, the damage to this home is extensive, although if there is any silver lining to any of this, the owner told us that he was told by first responders that the house is structurally sound, though, of course, it's going to be a long road to recovery. Yeah, yeah, it hurts. It hurts, you know, because you don't want nobody to take anything from you. Kevin Valdez is the owner of that BMW. And the fact that we live in a good neighborhood in Lorton Valley, you know, we would have never thought nothing like this happened. George Davidson, his wife, and their three young kids were inside the home this morning. All of them are okay. But amid all the unexpected chaos today, a moment of pure joy when firefighters came to give the kids something they thought was forever lost. And uh, back out here live, guys, you see these Dominion Energy crews. They've been here all day in the extreme heat trying to get the power back on. Right now, I just checked Dominion's website. There are about 50 outages in Fairfax County, all of them, or at least the majority of them, linked to this transformer. This is actually the new transformer that they are putting in right now. They just lifted up the old one, put it in the truck. Now they're putting this new one. I do want to direct your attention, Erika, over here, just so that way you get a, a, a look at the extensive damage in this home here. It is still amazing that the five people in here, mom, dad, and their three young kids are okay. Back to you. Well, I mean, I just can't believe that they just moved in there. I mean, my heart goes out yeah. to them. Um, but I'm so glad at the end of your story to see those kids smile for just a little bit to have something uh, that belongs to them. And I'll say this, you know, we, you, know, you hear a lot of people crying out here. Honestly, yeah. the, the first woman you saw in the shot there in that story, she was the owner of the house. She's got people renting here. The woman uh -huh, who you saw crying is, okay. the, is the owner and she just couldn't, you know, she was so emotional because you're looking at this house that you just bought and it's just, it's, it's a really, really difficult thing to see. But well, of course, out of all the crying investment. that we yeah. heard this morning, right, out of all the crying that we heard this morning, Erika, we started to hear kids uh, screaming, but joy. And we looked yeah. back and we saw because a firefighter was walking over to them with their uh, with their teddy bears that they probably thought were just lost in the fire. So it's always a silver lining. You just got to look for it sometimes, right? Always happy to see that. Joseph, thank you so very much.